Hi, Scorpio. This is Jackie Thomas, the short general rating for the week of February 22nd, 2021. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you're seeking a personal reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Please remember that we're under the time frame of the unexpected ends on the 22nd. But it takes a couple days to kind of shake the egg off of that. These are general readings, which I hope something will resonate with you. And if this reading today does resonate with you, then please join me on Vimeo for the extended version of this reading. And you will find the link to that in the description box below this video. Okay, so Scorpio, what we got going on? Some flirting going on, I see. Hmm, interesting. Um, some major changes are coming up. Um, I also see Scorpio and Scorpio, which shows me there's a tendency to be a little bit, a little bit catty or a little bit stubborn there. Um, there is a warning to proceed with caution. That's whether you're in a car, around the house, accidents close to home. And you're going to take some me time, some time for yourself, time for daydreaming and manifestation. I love seeing that. So let's get started. Look at there, Scorpio, you start with the chariot. Everything you want, everything you desire, you know, the cool thing about it is it comes in when you totally unexpected. And that will override everything here in your reading. Uh, you have the Three of Cups, which is a celebration coming up. An outing in our celebration, maybe an event. Knight of Pentacles is a good business deal coming in to fly. I uh, also want to say that a Capricorn may resonate here. And as signs come in, I will disclose them as they come in through the reading. Okay. Here is the Four of Cups, unexpected offer of help. And for my singles out here, representing an unexpected offer of love coming in as well. I have the Two of Swords in the center of the reading. Okay, and the center of the reading kind of radiates out throughout the reading. But the Two of Swords says you've got decisions to make. But you've been putting these decisions off for so long that you're going to be kind of backed in a corner to make those decisions this week. Seven of Pentacles is working and gaining. Now notice they're gathered at that table. So this could mean some small winnings as well. We have the sun. Beautiful Scorpio. The sun shines brightly in all that you do. Also bringing in new opportunities. And with that, we have the Queen of Swords. This is someone with a sharp tongue. Someone who may kind of lash out or get catty with you. I don't see a confrontation, but just know that it is present. I uh, also want to throw out a Virgo energy. As well as we have the world. The world is your oyster. So how beautiful is that? Nine card spread. We start with the chariot and we end with the world. All right, let's clarify. What a beautiful reading we've got going on here for Scorpio. Scorpio, with that chariot, oh, you guys have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, this is that, um, the happy card, one of two in the deck. Total happiness, total contentment, also indicating love arrows that are flying around. Uh, with the Three of Cups in the celebration comes the Ace of Pentacles and a new beginning in your financial sector of your home. And the Knight of Pentacles, that good business to offer, coming in. Coming in with the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords also representing someone with a sharp tongue. Uh, someone I'm thinking with business advice. But in matters of love, I do have a couple here of the King and Queen of Swords. Very interesting. With that unexpected offer of love, I have the Moon. A timing card. Now, let me say this. Uh, that some will resonate and some will not on the 27th of this month is when the moon changes to a full moon. The two of swords, the decisions you've been putting off. Well, with that, I've got five of pentacles of financial and spiritual blessings. 
So maybe you've been putting those things off, counting your blessings. The Seven of Pentacles, working and gaining, could be some winnings. Shows good luck and abundance as the Wheel of Fortune finally turns to your favor. The Sun card, indicating the sun shines brightly in all that you do. Also bringing in new opportunities, and for whatever reason, uh, children is going to resonate with some of you guys with this, okay? And I have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands showing that although the sun shines brightly, there's still some challenges ahead. The Queen of Swords comes with, there it is, that downtime, that me time. Meditation and manifestation, making it all about you. Love seeing that. And the world, as in the world is your oyster, comes with, this is a past energy of someone has done you wrong. This is some energy that you need to work on losing, probably during your manifestation or whatever, burying this energy. Now, and back going back to the bonus for the center of the reading, you guys are under a new beginning, and that new beginning is in love. So what we have here, I have a new beginning in and money and a new beginning in love. Uh, total happiness, luck turning to your favor. This is definitely worth an extended read. So please join me on Vimeo for the extended version of this. I'm going to pick up right here where we left off. Uh, and you'll find the link to that in the description box below this video. And you guys have a great week. Bye.